Hello brothers and sisters, today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and uh, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study His Word. And uh, in today's Bible study lesson, uh, we're going to be focusing on answering one specific question. Many people usually ask, are, are all religions the same? Have you ever had someone ask you this? Are all religions the same? Hmm. Okay. Hope you're seated on a comfortable seat. Hope you've got a pen and a notebook and your Bible just beside you. And uh, let's get started. All right. Okay. Now, let me start by saying, the English writer and poet Steve Turner, in his uh, short work called The Creed, he answered the question of whether all religions are equivalent in this way, and I quote, We believe that all religions are basically the same, at least the one that we read was. They all believe in love and uh, goodness, they only differ on matters of God uh, matters of creation actually sin, heaven, hell, God and salvation now having heard that <laughs> we understand as Tana points out every religion is uh, in some way differing from others in its own foundational teachings and uh, beyond that they also differ in their overall approach to finding spiritual truth because when you look at uh, some religions like Buddhism, they take an epistemological approach which uh, states that if I just learn something, I'll find spiritual meaning and truth. Others like Islam, they take a pragmatic path. They say, if I just do something, I'll find spiritual meaning and truth. Still others, such as many uh, as you call them the new age religions, they try an existential method, existential method, which says if I just experience something, I'll find spiritual meaning and truth. But Christianity differs from all other religions in, in that it is the only one that is ontological in its approach to finding spiritual truth. For example, it does a rests it does rest completely on the person of Jesus Christ and in addition Christianity subsumes uh, the approaches found in other religions and pours them into the person of Christ for example knowledge is gained through words to that end the gospel of John starts off by saying in the beginning think about this in John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and in verse 14 it says and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we saw his glory the glory as of the begotten from the father full of grace and truth so Jesus is the knowledge of God personified and when it comes to pragmatism of course the works like I told you about the Islam the works the people <laughs> the people once asked Jesus you know they had this mind of uh, we have to do something in John 6 28 to 29 they came and asked him what shall we do so that we may work the works of God what shall we do you see they are thinking about things plural <laughs> but Jesus answered them just saying this is the work this is the work a singular you see, this is the work of God that you believe in him whom he has sent. You see, Jesus is not saying that these are the things that you need to do A, B, C, D. No, he says this is the completion of the work. Just believe. Get the point? And uh, in ex existentialism Oh, these words are hard <laughs> to pronounce. Existentialism, alright? Yeah, hope I'm correct. And experience are fundamentally concerned with life. 
To that end, Jesus said in John 10.10 10, that I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. I've come that they may have life. So, himself is that life. So, Christianity differs from all other religions in that it is built upon the person of Christ who embodies all approaches to spiritual truth. And Paul acknowledges this unique and ontological nature of Christianity when he ex exclaims, he said in 2 Timothy 1.12, I know whom I have believed. Paul did not say, I know what I have believed. That could have meant uh, some works or some things. No, he said, I know whom I have believed. Right? And uh, for God who said, uh, let light shine out of darkness, he made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory which is displayed in the face of Christ. 2 Corinthians 4, six. Do you understand that uh, all religions are not the same? They're very different. Christianity is really different. It's about whom we have believed. Christianity is centered on one man. But all the other religions are, are centered on different things. Experiences, works that people need to do, some enlightenment of this and that. But Christianity is centered on one man, Jesus Christ, knowing him and doing what is right, what he asks you. All right, so that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. You can uh, definitely download and, uh, and listen later or share this uh, production. And of course, favorite our channel and subscribe to always know whenever we post a new Bible study lesson. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon and see you in the next one.